Why you play the wrong part, buddy? Well, that's for my friend Rack. Give him a drink on Dan Morgan. Yeah, let's have one. Uh, Here you are, buddy. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> like I told you, Dan, you're not funny. You better leave him alone, Dan. <laughs> oh, leave him alone? He's my steer. I'm gonna put my brand on. <laughs> Give me a beer! <laughs> Come on, Charlie, get up! Hold it, Dan. I think he's dead. From out of the West, Dick Powell's Zane Gray Theater. I know I used to think a cowboy wore it on his saddle as an ornament. Actually, though, a rope or a lariat such as this was and still is nearly as important to the cowboy as his horse. He uses it for everything. Sort of a western do yourself kit. Easy, as long as you're roping fence posts. Now, this little piece of rope has been made into a hobble. Slipped over the horse's front feet, it allows him to graze freely, yet not run away. Probably comes in two sizes, one for the horse and one for the cowboy's kids, so they won't be straying. Now here's a very special kind of rope. It was fast and very cheap. Could be used over and over. Practically no upkeep. Oh, by the way, the first American rope was made by John Harrison in 1642, just in case you're ever on a quiz show. In a moment, we'll see how a lariat changed a man's life. Remember me, Judge? Yes, I heard you'd been released. You've still got that rope. You know I'm here, don't you? You're not the first. Every man convicted in the courtroom figures to get even someday. Not like me. I never thought about anything else. I only pronounce sentence was the jury's verdict. And you could have set it aside. You knew it was an accident. You had been warned before. In your hands, Dan, that lariat is a weapon, a deadly weapon. You killed a man with it. All right. I heard all this before. I paid for it, too. Five years in a stinking cell not big enough for a man to move in. I paid plenty for it. Five years. Do you think that anything you can do to me will erase that? It'll sure help. And you're a bigger fool than I thought you were, Dan. You kill me now, they'll put you right back in that cell. For life, probably, unless they hang me. Who's that? My daughter, my foreman. They'll be in here in a minute. That was it, didn't you, Judge? It had to be too fast. You got five years to pay for, and you're going to pay for every minute of it. Slowly.
Hello, Dan. Glad to have you back. Yeah. George Lovett told me to find you. Well, you did. Wants to see you. Out at the ranch. Anything else? What? Tell you anything else. Like what? Forget it. You go see him then? Yeah, I'll see him. Come in. Sit down. This is a warrant for your arrest. You're guilty of threats and assault, enough to put you back in that cell for a long time. I'm going to forget what happened last night. I'm going to give you a chance to make a decent life for yourself. Got a proposition I'd like to talk over with you. I listened to you talk once before. In a courtroom. I don't like your kind of deals. Well, this is different. Got a new bunch of calves. Need some help with them. I could sure use a man that's handy with a rope. Well, what do you say, Dan? You don't need me to work for you. What do you really want? Offering you a job, that's all. You are scared, aren't you, Judge? I had the crazy idea that I could help you to get started again. Right. Well, forget it. Anyway, I got a job. Remember? Dan. It's good to see you. Why, you look the same, Rack, not a day older. Look, I'd like to stand around and talk, Dan, but I got a lot of work to do. Why don't you meet me in town tonight? We can we can talk about old times. No, we better not. I'm foreman around here. It keeps me pretty busy. Besides, I'm not looking for trouble. Trouble? Well, I don't get it. I plan to marry the judge's daughter one day. I don't think he'd appreciate my palling around with you. I see. Well, it's good to know who your friends are. That's the way it is. But why don't you move along? Go somewhere and start a new life where people don't know you. I'll leave here when I'm ready. I'm telling you for your own good. After the trial, I remember you threatened to get even with the judge. So keep off this ranch. I wouldn't want to have to throw you off. Put that thing away. I'm Laura Lovett. Who are you? Dan Morgan, Laura. You had some business with your father when you were back east a couple of years ago. It's nice to meet you. He was just leaving. Oh? Well, that's too bad. I'd sure like to learn to handle a lariat like that. Would you? Uh-huh. You know, I was just thinking this might be a nice place to work. Sorry, we got all the help we need. Well, it's funny. Judge just offered me a job. I think I'll take it. Now. He's a strange man. He's been in prison the past five years. Your father put him there. You know, he hates your father. He'd do anything to get even. You better be careful. Ready whenever you are, Judge. Fine. Rack, uh, Dan's going to work with us for a while. This is Dan Morgan, Laura. I uh, know, he met. Anybody handy to show him around? Well, the boys are checking the south fencing, but I could find... I'll be glad to show Dan the place. Do that, Laura. We'll be back soon. Yeah! 
I think the best place to start would be Devil's Forelock. Where? That hill over there. From the top of that hill, you can see the whole ranch. I'll beat you to the top of the hill. You haven't got a chance. Good. Strong like a man. You have to be a man to ride well. Yes, not. <laughs> Is all this your land? That's just the north pasture. Our land goes as far as the river. Rox says you're in prison, is it true? It looks like good feeding grass. Best feeding grass is in the south pasture. Why were you in prison? Killing. What? A man. How? Like this. He tried to break away, broke his neck. Right here. Is that all you wanted to know? An accident. Why do you still carry the rope? Why not? Some men carry guns. Anybody can pull a trigger. A rope sings in your hand. Part of you when you know how to use it. Like another sense. To anybody else is dead, no good. You talk about that rope like some men talk about women. You have to know how to handle both. Can you? Forget a lot in five years. Stay away. Take your hand off me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like it here. Sam did any good. Hope you learned you can't rear up in a little stall like that anymore. Huh? Late. You ought to be in bed. It's nice of you to look after Nugget, then. One of the things I missed most in prison was horses. You know what I think? 
I think you're a man who knows what he wants. And you'll do anything to get it. Is that what you see? You don't know anything about me. I can learn. Let me there. Come this way. It fit you before. I'm not going to waste words. I want you to stay away from my daughter. I don't think Laura would like that. I know what you're doing. I will not have you hurt her. You were right, Judge. Killing you would have sent me right back to prison. But a man can't be jailed because a woman loves him. Can he? Made a big mistake about you. Thought there was some decency left in you. I'm taking Laura with me. And there's nothing you can do about it. What kind of a man are you? Wrecking her life just to get even with me. Oh, you oughtn't to talk like that, Judge. How do you know I don't love her? You are so twisted with hate, you don't know the meaning of the word. Well, I'll learn, maybe. I can learn. Anyhow, that's not too important. Because Laura loves me. And that's all it takes. I'm asking you not to do this thing, Dan. I'm begging you. Begging. Waited a long time to hear you say that. Well, if I were you, I wouldn't tell Laura about our little talk. The way she feels, who do you think she'd believe? Get out of here. Get out of my sight. I'll find your daughter, Judge. You may want to tell her goodbye. Look, that crazy horse almost chewed this thing in two. Forget about that. I'm leaving here, Laura. I want to take you with me. No, Dan. Why not? You don't love me. What's even more important? I don't love you. I don't believe that. I could have loved you if you'd let me. What are you talking about? You were so different. So exciting and strong. I even thought I could kill the bitterness in you. Now I know I can't. You don't love Dan, you hate. I knew that the first time you kissed me. You tried to hurt me. I just can't love you, Dan. You're lying. I know you love me. I know it. <laughs> you see? You're still trying to hurt me. I told you to leave her alone.
so good without the rope, do you? Up. What are you do? What are you doing, Dan? I do love you. I really love you. When I saw you hurt, I thought I'd be glad. I wanted you to be hurt. I wanted you to know how it feels. Instead, I was hurt for you. I knew then I had to go with you. about me, Laura. I don't know how to love. How can you be so sure? I wanted to love you. I can see that now. Well, then. But you can't live with something for five years and then forget it just like that. Well, what good is it going to do you? Run away. Where will it end? you'd hate it. No. In a little while, you'd hate it. You'd never be sure whether I really wanted you or just revenge on your father. Maybe I wouldn't be sure either. You can't go now. He really hurt you. <laughs> well, he didn't do me much good. I guess I had it covered. like this. He'll be back. 